living in Lincoln, Nebraska at the time, uh, was married with two young children and one on the way. And here, God all of a sudden dropped this amazing opportunity in my lap to live my dream. And I jumped in and we traveled all over the world with this band. Uh, it's the first time I got out of the country actually was, was traveling with the Newsboys. It was a time of my life. Ironically, it was also the first time I saw extreme poverty. I was playing with the Newsboys and, and we ended up doing a benefit concert in Mexico. It was just such a weird mixed feeling because here I was living my dream, you know, doing exactly what I wanted to do. And now I'm seeing something for the first time that's just kind of devastating to me. And it kind of birthed something in me that, you know, I decided from that moment on that I wanted to use for sure my music, whatever influence I had to take risk and leaps of faith to help others. So today we're visiting El Cerrito Puerto Nuevo. It's an indigenous community here in the outskirts of Mexico. Today I had a chance to meet Karina and her daughter, Andrea, and it was uh, moving to hear her story. She's a single mom and um, she started to break down because her son, 15 years old, has to leave the village community to work to provide for their family. How old is your son? Um, mi hijo tiene 15 años. He's 15. 15? What is his name? <laughs> In those moments as she's crying, She's saying, that's why we need child fund here. That's why we need our children in this community to be sponsored, to make a difference, so I can bring my son home and he doesn't have to work uh, to provide for our family. And I tell you, that for sure ignited something in me to take a leap of faith and to try to take on this entire community of close to 300 children. And I'm on a journey to find people that want to join me to make a very reasonable sacrifice to take on sponsoring a child so we can change the trajectory of a child's life and an entire community. Looking at that video reminded myself, John and I, we've been making albums for years and with every album we feel called to use music to connect people that need help with people that can help. But it doesn't get any easier. So when God calls you to something, the fear and doubt can still creep in. And God doesn't show you the whole path down the road. He shows you one step at a time. And when I got to visit that community, that was September 2019, COVID hits. That whole community gave us a welcome, thinking we were like the biggest band in the world. And, and I'm going and going, I don't know if we can do this, but we're just gonna take another step. And so we recorded this album, not to sell it. We had this dream and a vision we asked Child Fund if they would give us a community where all the kids were in the same community, about 300 families. And we wanted to go out with our music, tell the story, and see if we could get a community here in the States, in Nebraska, in Elevate, 300 people to join us to help those families there. God has already blessed. We're about a third of the way there. And we're only giving this album to those that decide to join in with our cause. And so how it works is you sponsor a child, $36 a month. We have the children here. This is Dayana. She's from the community that I visited. We've got a bunch of the children here all from the same community. Our hope is if you've ever sponsored a child before, here's how it works. The, um, the best way, the funds go to the community to develop the community as a whole rather than just writing a check specifically to the family. That doesn't really work the best. Child Fund's been around over 80 years. They work in 30 different countries. They're doing something special by giving us a small community. I just feel called to find 300 people from the same community to help these people in need. We want to uh, create a Facebook group to anyone that sponsors where I want to hear about the child you're sponsoring, maybe some stories. Child Fund's gonna let us know how the community is advancing as a whole. We just want to be part of their story as uh, God uses 
what Child Fund is doing to pull them out of extreme poverty. So I'm wondering if anybody wants to uh, join us in that. You'll get our album. Peter heard about what we're doing because, you know what, let's, I want to join in too. He's, he's not going to give away that guitar, but one that looks just like it. He's going to sign it. Anybody heard the group Petra? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I ain't going to do one of their songs. <laughs> you know, back, uh, my little brother was um, a big Christian music fan. He actually was kind of the dude that introduced me to Christian music. Australia, we didn't have that much of it. And uh, I remember my dad going on a mission trip, coming back with a, from duty free with this cassette of a Petra record and started to listen to it and then saw him in concert one time in Australia. And, and then as the newsboys started to take off, we got asked to open up for Petra. And so, which was cool. We opened up for them in Australia and then we opened up for them for probably, I don't know, I'm guessing 70 to 100 shows across America. And uh, so we got to know him real well and got to watch him rock out every night and they were awesome, it was really good. And well then a, a few years after that, I'd started to kind of songwrite and produce other bands and stuff like that. And I got asked by Petra if I could produce their record. I'm like, yeah, rock and roll, I'll do that. And so what happened was uh, at the time, uh, I was living in a house in Franklin, Tennessee and it was built in the 1800s, 1830s. It actually had bullet holes in the back of it from the Civil War. I didn't do it. But um, my wife, uh, out the kitchen was right next to my studio and I just had this old studio with the big old floorboards and I'd just sit there and strum a guitar, try to, try to write my way out of that room, you know? And um, one time I, I had finished this next song and I said to my wife, hey, check this out, I think I'm gonna give it to Petra, I think it'll be a hit for them. And, and I played it to her and she said, if you give that to Petra, I'll kill you. We were married for 30 years just last week, so uh, she hasn't killed me yet. <laughs> and as we lift up our hands, will you meet us here? As we call on your name Will you meet us here? We have come to this place To worship you God of mercy and grace It is you We adore It is you Praises are for Only you The heavens declare
You know, when I first started writing songs for the Newsboys, there was a running joke in the band. Every time I'd show up with a new song, they would say to me, what three chords is it this time? And you laugh. Well, so I went home and I wrote a three chord song, and this is it.
can't take me.